I was just making this video today um, to show you guys how to take a, the information from your PS1 or PS2 memory card and put it onto your PC. Uh, I saw a video on YouTube showing you how to do that using a driver, uh, which the website it came from was not in English, so if you had any problems with it at all, you can't really figure out what the problem is. Um, I will include the link to that video because if you don't have a PS3, my way will not work and for m most people that watch this video from the forums and the comments, I, they, they seem to have um, the same problem I do um, and they seem to have PS3s and they were asking, hey I can put it on my PS3, can I just take it from my PS3 to PC? But no one seemed to have that answer. Um, so hardware wise what you need to do my way um, is you need this uh, PS1 slash PS2 memory card to USB adapter. Um, it's often called the PS2 to PS3 adapter. Um, you can Google it or Bing it, whatever you want to do. It's really easy to find. I got mine for under $10, so it's not that expensive. Um, you plug your memory card into that, um, and then you just plug that into your PS3. Um, now, the second thing that we're going to be using as a medium to take the information that you're going to put on your PS3 onto your PC is any device that has a USB attachment. Um, I'm actually using a Samsung phone and it works very well. I've also tested other devices like this really old Nokia phone that is garbage. Um, you can actually get one of these for under dollars as well. Um, that works too. Um, cameras work. I'm not sure if an iPod works because I do not have one. Uh, you plug that in, in as well. Um, this is going to take one second to turn it into a storage device because I have to do that with my phone. And we're good. Now if we look at our PS3, um, if you don't already have an internal memory card created, you can just click create one and you can make it either PS or PS2. Um, at this point it doesn't really matter that much, um, so you can just make it whatever. Uh, I already have one so I don't really need to do that. You will see the memory card that you just plugged in, it's usually named memory card. And it has PlayStation in brackets or just PS in brackets. You should see your save files, just like you would if you were looking at a PlayStation. It's got that little pixelated look. Um, you can copy it to your internal memory card. Uh, once again, you can create a new one from this stage as well. But I'm just going to put mine over there. And this isn't just copying it, it's, at, it's actually converting it into a file that the PS3 can read, which is the problem we're having, because the PS3 format doesn't work well with any other device. Now. Once it's on the internal memory card, you can go to your file from there, and you can hit copy again. And if you look, my phone is now a memory card. So I can put it onto my phone, and it copies onto my phone. So now I'm done with the PlayStation. I can unplug both devices, and I can now move to my PC. Once again, just plugging in my PC, or my phone to my PC, sorry, and apparently opening a game on my phone. Sorry about that. Once I have my phone plugged in, it's going to prompt me if I want to do anything. I don't really need to do anything because I already have my folder up. Um, I actually created a new fo uh, folder for me. Uh, mine's called PS3. Yours might be called something different depending on what device you used. You just navigate through the folder until you see a file that's .psv or .ps something. Uh, I've seen other files be different. Um, once you have that, you can just copy it. And where you want to take it, I actually advise you to just make a complete new folder for all of this so you don't clutter up your desktop or you know usually some people just put everything on their desktop and it, it kind of annoys me so I just you know I have a paste right here and now this is where the software comes there's a website that I'm going to leave in the comment or uh, the details sorry the details of this video um, my, many of you many of you might already have it it's memcard rex um, once you have that open and, and there's when you download it there's no really installing you just extract it, it so that's pretty basic um, the problem most of you are doing is you're trying to open that file, which it's not compatible. What you need to do is you need to import the save because that's not a memory card. It's just an individual save. So once you import it, hey, there it is. So we code and there's your save file. Now you can hit save as. And now we're done. Um, if you click the down arrow on the save as file type, you need to find out 
what type of file your emulator uses. Mine uses .bin, so I'm going to save it as a .bin. Um, tell it where to save, and then you you are done. Now, all we need to do is go to your emulator. Um, go to your configuration, however, mine, I just go straight to config, then memory cards. Yours might be a little bit different, but anyway, um, under slot one, uh, wherever you put that file, the uh, mine is .bin, so wherever you put it, I just named mine SUI coding because that's the only reason I'm using this. Um, you can name yours PS1 memory card 1, PS1 memory card 8, doesn't really matter. You just open that as your uh, memory card. Uh, you hit, hit apply, I hit cancel, sorry about that. And under memory cards, you should see the game file. Um, now, to make sure, ooh, bad. To make sure that actually works, I'm actually just going to start the game. Um, because there is a wrong way to do this, and it will see it as a file, but it won't let you load the game. And if you have that problem, um, try to just start from step one, because that means you messed a step up. And if you think you've done everything exactly how I've done it, um, then leave a comment in the, on the video and with all your information, your specs, your operating system, all that kind of stuff, and I can try to figure out what your problem is. Um, skip through all the movie. And hit continue game. It sees my file. Now it will take you, even if you've done it wrong, it will take you this far, but right when you hit load file, and you hit load on any game, it'll freeze at this loading file and say error loading. And in some games, it just puts you back to the um, main screen. Uh, this game just puts you back to the memory card selector. Um, but anyway, if you've done it all correctly, it should take you to various other loading screens or you know whatever your game does. Uh, and there's the game. Now, of course, once you have it like this, um, you can then, you know, save it to another memory card. If you have all your games on the same memory card, um, you can use your emulator's memory card thing to copy it. And that's all we need to do. Uh, once again, if you have any questions or if there's further explaining on what you need, just leave a comment and I will check it out.